Productivity isn't just about what you're doing when you're actively working on something. It's about all of the aspects of your life. If you wanna be more productive, you need to consider what you're doing in those hours that are outside of your allotted work time. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel where you are what matters. Today, we're gonna to be talking about what I like to call holistic productivity. Just like holistic medicine looks at your whole life to consider what's going on with you and how to make you better, holistic productivity looks at your whole life to figure out how you can get more done in less time. And remember, if you wanna increase your motivation, boost your productivity, and reduce your overall stress, get started now by hitting the subscribe button below. Before we go down this road, I wanna make it abundantly clear that I am not here to help you be more productive so that you can keep adding more and more and more to your plate. Busy is not the goal. The whole point of being more productive is so that you can get more done in less time so that you can spend that extra time doing whatever it is that makes you happy. Now, yes, you might go through some time periods where they are insanely busy and you really do need to spend all your time getting work done. Let a busy period be a busy period and then let it be over. So when you get free time, stick to the things that make you feel more fulfilled instead of filling your time up with work. Because as you'll see, when we get into this video, if you do spend too much time working and not enough time on practices like self-care, you'll actually make yourself less productive in the time that you're spending working, which is not the point. So grab yourself a coffee or a tea or a vitamin drink that takes an insane amount of stirring and let's get into the video. Okay, so one of the things that we tend to do is to compartmentalize our lives. Our work life is over here, our family life is over here, our self-care is over there or down the hall or basically non-existent. What you do in your non-work time matters. Sure, you need to be aware of how you are when you're at work. You can't sit down at your desk first thing in the morning and then not get up all day and expect to be your most productive self. But people tend to focus only on these times when they're at work, when they're trying to increase their productivity. But what if you had too much to drink the night before and you went to bed late and you tried to get up early? Do you really think that one extra break at work might compensate for what you did the night before? You can't live a crazy life outside of work and then be surprised when you can't focus while you're at work. Our minds and bodies don't have switches. You can't just turn on the productivity and then work until your productivity juice runs out. Imagine productivity is your body. Now imagine you just broke your leg. Do you think that's gonna affect how you operate? Now you need something to help you get around and you're more tired because you're healing and you're distracted because you're in pain. If one part of your life is out of sync, you're gonna be limping around on crutches instead of running at your best pace. You have to be managing your entire lifestyle if you wanna to get to that high level of productivity. So the first step into improving your productivity in a holistic way is to look at your habits, and I mean all of your habits. Sit down and write out what you tend to do on a daily and a weekly basis, the good habits and the bad ones. Maybe you've got a super solid morning routine, but your night routine, not so good. Maybe you tend to stay up too late scrolling social media and you never really wake up feeling rested. Or maybe you're really good about buying healthy food and prepping it and taking it to work, but then you eat that lunch at your desk and never really take a break. Once you've jotted everything down, sort of an outline of your entire life, take a look at it, like take it all in at once. What's 
something that you notice about it. What's one habit you could start or a negative habit that you could overwrite that would upgrade your whole lifestyle? If you didn't hit snooze in the morning, would that give you enough time to start a relaxing morning routine? Or if you went to bed a half hour earlier, would you wake up feeling more rested, which would lead you to be more productive? Or what if you made your lunch the night before? Would that stop you from picking up greasy food for lunch that makes you feel groggy and miserable all afternoon. Each answer is gonna be different for each person, but there's usually one key habit that would really shift your whole day around. If you're struggling to figure this out, just ask yourself, what's one thing that I could do today that would make tomorrow better? and then just start there. Then once you've mastered this change, go back and take a look at your days and see if there's something else that you could tweak. The next area to look at is your priorities. Everybody wants your attention. Attention makes money. If a game can get you to play it, then the game can show you an ad which makes the game money and all it costs is your time and energy. Because of this, we are constantly being bombarded with requests for our time and energy. Most of these requests aren't even worth a second glance. I mean, really, they're not actually worth the first one, which means that you really just need to cut off the distractions before they even have a chance to get to you. Think of it this way. I have two choices. I could either carve out specific quiet time so that I could work on writing scripts or editing these videos, or I could wait until my kids are around and they could be constantly distracting me while I'm trying to work. In the second case, I don't get the video worked on and I don't pay attention to my kids and we all end up frustrated. And then instead of doing something productive to help me out for tomorrow, I end up binge watching Netflix instead. This happens so constantly in our distracted world. Our attention is constantly being pulled in every direction so that we never really get a chance to focus on any one thing. We never really get to our full productivity and then we just end up so exhausted at the end of the day that we don't have the energy to even take care of ourselves. First, let's consider your big long-term priorities. A life wheel is a great way to figure this out and I've done a video that I will link up in the cards for you so that you can see the whole step-by-step -step process. You don't have to do this whole exercise, but you should have some sort of written or digital list of all of the things that you want to focus on so that you can compare that list against all of the requests that are coming in for your time and attention. For example, maybe you're involved in a lot of organizations that do a whole bunch of activities. And maybe some of them don't actually line up with your priorities. You just somehow got roped into them and then never really dropped out. But now you know what your priorities are so that you can start comparing those organizations against your list of priorities and see what it's time to start letting go of. This list is also great for when new requests come in for your time and energy. If this new request doesn't line up with the priorities that are on that list, is this really something that you're gonna wanna say yes to? Now, the thing is that a lot of these requests won't necessarily come to you on email or text message. A lot of people that want your time and energy will try to corner you in person to nail you down and get you to say yes on the spot. If you're someone that struggles to say no in an in-person situation, just find a way to tell them that you're going to get back to them. Tell them that you need to check your calendar or your kids' calendars or you need to talk to your spouse or whatever just so that you can physically get away from that person, this will give you distance so that you can go back and check this request against your priorities so that you can decide whether this is something that you really wanna say yes to. And then it will also give you a chance to compose some sort of text or email to them saying no without having to say no right there on the spot. Okay, so that was the big picture stuff. The what am I gonna focus on in the next year kind of life priority things. So the next thing we need to do is go from the 30,000 foot level view right down into the weeds. As Gary Vaynerchuk would say, the clouds and the dirt. So what are your priorities for today? 
what are the one to three things that will move the needle forward on the things that are important to you? If you're gonna make any progress on the things that are important to you, then you can really only focus on one to three things at a time. And those one to three things need to be the very top of your to-do list. I call this my to-do or die list. Yeah, it's a bit dramatic, but it really puts things into perspective. I'm not talking about the 150 or so things the average person has floating around their brain to do eventually. We're talking about the next 24 hours. What is gonna get crossed off of your list and will it matter? And if you can't answer that will it matter question with a resounding yes, then it might be time to reassess what's on your to do or die list. And once you get done those one to three things, then you could go back to your master list and reassess if there are more things that might help you get ahead on tomorrow. And if you're struggling with prioritizing your to do list, check out the cards because I'm going to link up a video that I did about how to sift through all of your to do's and all the stuff that's floating around your head and how to pull out those one to three things that are most important to you right now. All right, guys, question of the day. What's one habit that you are going to either start or a bad one you're gonna overwrite to help you boost your productivity? Let us know down in the comments below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go down and hit the like button. It really helps me out with growing this channel and getting this video in front of more people that need it. And if you wanna increase your motivation, boost your productivity, and reduce your overall stress, hit the subscribe button too. Make sure you check out the description box because I'm going to have a link to all of the things I talked about today as well as some other productivity resources and a link to my calendar so you can get on a free call with me and see if coaching with me is right for you. Thanks everybody and I'll see you in the next video. All of the things that you're doing that aren't doing your back to my channel where you are what matters. Today we're, we're going to be itching our nose. Quests through them. Mm.